Good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Wherever part of the world you may be, I'm sending you all the love and light and the blessings from above. May you be in the best of health at this moment. I will be cooking today our chicken tinola, which is a native Filipino dish. And why I modified it? Because um, as you know that uh, whenever the number of our age is increasing, we have a lot of uh, health concerns that is arising. So far my case is not yet alarming at this stage, but then I decided to start my wellness journey through the food that I eat. And my meal plan, I have to adhere on it because otherwise it will be a disaster as the years go by. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing something funny today because I'm wearing a house clothes and I don't want to change anymore. So what I did, I took this uh, big scarf, uh, we call it in the Philippines like malong, and I just wrap it around. And Lucy, shout out to Lucy of Lifestyle Blog, Blog B as in boy. Uh, B L O G. Lucy, this was your gift to me when I was there in Germany in 2001. Hope you are all in, you are in good health. So now let's go to the cooking time. So here are the ingredients that we will be needing in cooking chicken tinola. Of course, the chicken is there, and then uh, the veggies for sauteing. There is the garlic the onion and the ginger and we will use of course uh, the fish sauce this time I will be using spinach instead of the green papaya which is the original vegetable for this dish and of course the olive oil here we go so we are now warming the pot I will put a small amount of olive oil I can now smell that it's getting hot we will put first the garlic stir this until it becomes golden brown so now it is becoming golden brown. I will put now the ginger. So stir fry, stir fry until it absorbs the oil and blend it with the garlic. Now we can put the onions. Stir fry. Until it becomes translucent and absorb the oil as well, and blend it with the ginger and the garlic. So the onions is uh, getting cooked now. I will add the chicken. Chicken has to go now. it and have the flavor of the garlic, onion, and ginger to be absorbed by the chicken meat. Cover for a bit. You can reduce the heat if you wish to or you can maintain it as long as you are monitoring the situation of the of the chicken. Let's see what's happening. Okay. Another stirring a little bit. And now we can add the water. The water to will be the will be the soup. So I have to add water. until it submerge the chicken because if we put a lot of water it will be tasteless so this will be this will be just fine cover 
over it again and let it simmer until the chicken meat is cooked. Remember, the chicken has to be properly cooked. So, we're gonna come back again after like maybe five, seven minutes. I'm gonna check it out. Let's see how it goes. Oops, the chicken looks tender now. Try the taste of the soup. Oh, just fine. So what I'll do now, I can now add the spinach here. We'll put it in the pot. Chicken tinola with spinach. So just as simple as that. So here you go. Tinola with spinach. Come eat me. 